We got our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Samaya. Samaya, how old are you? I'm 25. And what do you do? I'm a licensed EMT and I'm in school. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to go on hikes and I like to go to the gym. Okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, someone who has boundaries, someone who knows what they want. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Hey, we back with another reaction. Why did somebody in the comments tell me to stop my godfather? I'm like, well, who do you think you is? That's like telling a, a soul Illuminati to stop simple. You hear me? Like, you, you go under his comment and tell him to stop what he doing. Go under everybody who got their own intro and tell him to stop. Why would you tell me to stop what I what I how I rock? That's, that don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? But oh girl, she bad though. I go lie. She cute. She's a cutie. I just don't I don't rock with red bombs. You feel me? I like Hispanic, like my wife, or strictly super black. No in between. I don't do the red bones, none of that. But Hey, put y'all cash up in the comments, man. Y'all know how to do Also, if you want to join the $1,000 giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. You are in the giveaway. We'll be doing a giveaway live on this channel on the 22nd of this month. You don't want to miss it. Going down this month on the 22nd. Live on this channel, 7 p.m. Eastern. But, hey, let's see what old girl talking about, man. Um, someone's a liar. Someone who doesn't know how to communicate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we don't have any pop balloons. So I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. I'll have you hold on to that. And I am going to have you pop. Let's go with three balloons. Three. three. So based off of what you're seeing, whoever's not really your type, okay. whatever it is, go ahead and pop those three. Okay. Hit harder. Go. There we go. Two more. And one more. Hmm. Okay, let's start right here. All right, your name and age. I'm Justin. I'm 26. Okay. And Justin, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear what she had to say. Okay. Yeah. But is she someone that's your type? Um... Not necessarily. I just wanted to hear more what she had to say. I don't really go just based off pure attraction. Okay. So I like to hear what people have to say and, you know, get a taste of their personality as well. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, why did we end up popping his? Um, Based off, like, everybody else, it was, like, the least attraction. Hmm. Okay. Got it. And then we did have one more over here, your name and age. I'm John. I'm 27. And, John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear out what she had to say. I'm attracted to, you know, mind and body and, and soul and things like that. So now the guys just repeating what each other saying. So all the guys just repeating stuff now. That's what the guys doing. They didn't learn from the females. Now it's the guys doing it. I'm attracted to. Bro. So you tell me if a big old fat woman just walk up, they wouldn't have popped. The majority of them would have. Yeah. They, they just can't come to conclusion and say, well, I'm physically attracted to her. None of them can't say that. Why you can't say that? Let's tell the truth. Are you physically attracted? Because in this generation, it's so funny because Andrew Tate and all these alpha fake males who all they all following, falling now. They made it simpish to say, oh, a woman is fine. If, if I look at a woman and say, oh, that's a pretty woman, now I'm a simp. That shows you how lame dudes is. I don't hate women. I'm not one of them dudes who just hate women and bash women. You got to realize, a lot of these guys that hate and bash women, they are like that because they never had women. <laughs> so now all of a sudden, the, women, the woman that they want, they all of, all of a sudden mad at her. So if he was to say, oh, this woman attractive, Oh, you're a simp. You're saying she's cute. 
That's lame, bro. Y'all are lame for saying that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't even say this woman attractive no more. Come on, bro. Y'all tweak it. Uh, so I just wanted to explore that a little bit more. Okay. Alrighty. Why do we end up popping his? Um, I'm not really attracted to his, like, eyes. You know, when you look at somebody, it's usually, like, eye contact. Mm -hmm. It's just not really... Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and then there was one more down here. Your name and age? Um, <clears throat> uh -oh. I'm Quan. I'm 29. Um, and Quan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? She gave me Zoe Kravitz vibes. So I just wanted to hear her out a little bit. You pretty. Thank you. You're gorgeous, but you. I just wanted to hear you out. So. Okay. And why did we end up popping his balloon? I would say same. Like, when I look at him, it's just not really, like, an attraction. Okay. Like, eye contact-wise. Yeah. And okay. And his lips. Okay. What about the lips? Um, I don't know. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't kiss them. <laughs> No offense, though. No. Bro, these women, men go, these women on this episode been going crazy. It's crazy because the other girl was talking about his teeth. Now she's talking about his lips. Boy, boy, they're going to go home with low self-esteem, bro. Boy, they going to go home like, dang, my lips messed up. My, I, don't, my, I got plaque on my teeth. Like, dang. But no, nah, brother, just, hey, keep your head up. Go brush it. Make sure you brush your teeth. Your lips, you can't really change it unless you just smoke a lot. You feel what I'm saying? But go put some Vaseline or something on there. You'll be straight. You feel me? Let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Quan. Let's head on back. <laughs> okay. So we have four balloons left unpopped. Let's ask these remaining guys a question. Whatever question you have. Um, how old are is everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what else? Do you have kids? And kids. Okay. Name, age, and do you have any kids? I'm Daytree and I'm 27. I don't have any kids. Okay. Name and age. Any kids? Yeah. Sylvester, 26, no kids. Same thing here. Your name and age, and do you have any kids? Matthew, 26, no kids. Okay. And our last guy over here. Your name and age, and do you have any kids? Gerard, 26, no kids. No kids. Do you have any kids? I don't have any kids. No kids. Okay. Let's ask these guys. And, mm, actually, no. I am going to make you pop a balloon. Pop another one? Yes. Let's go ahead and pop one more balloon. Okay. Kind of hard. Okay. <laughs> um, can I ask another question? Next round. Okay. A pop test. All right. So why did we end up popping his? Um. Eye contact. Just let's just bet. Uh, we're gonna put. I'm gonna bet some money on it. She's gonna say, "I looked in his eyes. Eye contact." <laughs> her, her voice kind of like. Kind of gets to me a little bit, you feel me? But <laughs> we're gonna see. Action is not really there. Okay. What is there something specific? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Oh, uh, she didn't say okay, that. Okay, so why did how, you have? How, how how old are you? I'm 26. 26. Okay, you look older. <laughs> yeah, I'm <middle. laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I don't like older guys, but. Yeah. Okay. So, why did you have your balloon unpops for her? Uh, I really wanted to hear more and okay. possibly ask some questions, but yeah, physically, she looks good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So we have three guys left. Let's ask okay. them another question. Um. When I first walk out, what is like the first thing you notice? Like, why do you still have your balloon? Okay, let's start over here. So she said, what was the first thing you noticed and why you still have your balloon up? What is the first thing you want them to know? Like what else can they notice besides how you look? For real, like what's the first thing you notice? Well, uh, you stand in there, like you look, you light skinned. I, that's what I noticed. Uh, she has nice lips, good skin, good smile. So, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing here. Yeah, your aesthetic fits mine. That's it. Okay. What's that aesthetic? Um, just somebody who's chill. Okay. You know, artistic. You seem like an artistic person. Um, so that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. And over here. 
Um, you're just very beautiful. I like your outfit, and you just you just have an athletic build. So you know, I, I like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three guys left. Okay. Go ahead and pop another balloon. All right. I honestly really think that question was so pointless. It's, it really is because you can't say nothing besides how you look. What's the first thing you notice? Well, your pants. I like your pants. I like your shoes too. Um, I like the way you dress. You can't really get nothing out of that. You know what I'm saying? A better question would be like, how many relationships have you been in? What's your longest relationship? What's your relationship with your parents? Them the type of questions you want to ask. Not what did you notice when I walked up? Like, what the? Come on, bro. We heard why he still had his balloon. Why did we end up popping his? Um, cause you said my you said my aesthetic, right? He no, said your aesthetic. Said my, what did you say? Uh, athletic build. I just say you're very beautiful, athletic build. Uh, I don't know. Like, I mean, all of them basically say like how I look. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's basically all you have to go off of. But I don't know. Yours is just more not specific or. I don't know. It's just. She finna say something was though. Not what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What can you look for? This is what I knew. That that's the reason when she asked the question, I knew what what um what she was gonna reject the guy based off of. I knew what she was gonna say, but what I I, I kind of like caught it before she said it. But what do she want him to say besides aesthetic? What else? What What do you want to say? Um, when I, I noticed your mind, I saw your mind through your head, and I saw the thoughts dribbling. Like, what do you want him to say, bro? Like, for real. What was you looking for? I want her to explain. I know she won't be able to explain it, because she seemed like she kind of slow a little bit. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt, because she a little cute. But most of the cute ones be slow. Like her. She's slow. I'm telling you. You meet her in real life, she's slow. I can tell how she talk. You feel what I'm saying? What my wife like a um social worker, she worked with like troubled kids and stuff. And what she said, her term is, yeah, the baby's a little delayed. That's what she say. She's a, the baby's a little delayed. She she's a delayed a little bit. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? I can tell. You feel me? <laughs> All right, so our two guys left. Any questions for her? Okay, let's start here. So whenever you're going through something, you know, any kind of trouble, what do you tell yourself? to get you out of the funk? Trust God. That's all I need to hear. Okay, yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, any questions here? Uh, what is your biggest goal in life? My biggest goal? I ain't even gonna lie, buddy look like he about to preach the most fire sermon you ever heard in your life, bro. No lie. It looked like he, bro, he looked like he gonna preach one of them sermons that's gonna have you up three days straight about grinding. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> he looked he look like one of them. He looked like a, a, a straight pastor. Nothing wrong with that, though. Nothing wrong with it. She do whatever God wants me to do. Honestly. You good? You look like so you were still... Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, it is time to pop another okay. balloon. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, go for it. Okay, so why did we end up popping his? Attraction. It just wasn't really there. Okay. Yeah. And what was it for you? Um, his head is smaller than mine, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's valid, though. So you think he's <laughs> I really want to hear, like, what a conversation with her would sound like. I really would love, I can't, I hope they do a follow-up. I really want to hear that. I want to hear a conversation. I want to see if she can even hold a conversation. I don't think she can. I really don't. You feel me? She's just like, yeah, okay. Um, She wanted them to type, okay. Um, if y'all know me in real life, you'll understand how short of patience I am when it comes to stupidity. I'm telling you. So as soon as I have like, you know, it just, don't say nothing, please. Just don't say nothing. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I'm really nice, though. I just be talking. I'm, really, I'm a really nice guy for real. 
Like a small head? Yeah. Okay. M- well, not small head, but it's like smaller than mine. I have a big head. Okay. I don't think yeah. your head's big at all. Oh, uh, really? No. <laughs> uh, maybe it's like m- my own. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go over here. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? It may be a dumb reason, but just the reason you popped is. Um, I'm, you're looking at me crazy. I, I understand. Um, that boy fruity. Why you... Now, I can understand. I don't know, but just the, how he said that, that boy Fruity. That boy don't want no female. I'm telling you, it's been a lot of fruit cakeishness going on with this group. I've seen two of them. You feel me? But why you worried about what she said to another dude? When you, you feel me? Yo, you, I get I get what you're saying, though. I'm saying, well, the reason was stupid or whatnot. It's, it's dumb. It's cool. She might, she's, we, we already established that she's a little delayed. We established that already. You feel me? So you knew that. You knew that when she was talking to the other dudes. So if you're going to pop based on any reason, it should have been before. You should have been seen that. If there, if anything, uh, you should have been like, okay, at least I can crush. That's what a straight dude who... No, I'm not going to say that. But, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with my rant. So, like, for me, you know, if you may find me attractive or whatever it may be, you know, like if I get into a car accident or something, my head gets smaller, I know you're not going to be there for me. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Yeah. I probably was going to pop yours. What, bro? <laughs> I have never. <laughs> he said, if I get into a car accident and my head gets smaller, you can't make this stuff up. You can't. <laughs> like, how can I do, bro? <laughs> All right, we're going to let it play out. I'm done, bro. Anyways. That's no, fine. Okay, so why were you gonna pop his? Probably like his mouth, teeth. Mm-hmm. Like it's just not really attractive to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So that is all of the balloons popped. So we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. I'll take the mic. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, she couldn't handle rejection. She couldn't handle it when Buddy was like, "Now nah, he rejected it, and now you're gonna say I probably was gonna pop yours. Why didn't you pop it in?" Me. But yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think about old girl in the comments, bro. This man said, "Of oh, I get in a car accident and my head gets smaller." <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't make this up, man. Be safe about that, kings and queens. Let's get it.